obviously a great win. That's something that you don't uh, prepare for, losing your best player at uh, halftime and your, your heart and soul. And, and uh, I think a lot of times in games, when you have a big lead or you're, you're down, I should say, and you come back, uh, a lot of times the team that's down, if they get the lead, they're going to win the game. Um, and if they don't get the lead, the, 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 the team that was ahead has enough in their tank. The, the thing I loved about this game and about our team is they got the lead, and we still responded uh, with a, uh, you know, a great second-half defensive effort and some big baskets. I think when they went up by one, we hit a big three. It might have been Lisa Mifsud that hit a big three to get us back up two that kind of, and I think we went on a little run. Um, but I thought the freshmen didn't play like freshmen. Uh, Trisha Byrne had like five deflections on one possession in the first half, and it really got us going. She had a big driving layup in the second half, a uh, little bank shot when we were life or death to score. Uh, Cato has just been steady as a rock here to my left and, and is playing like a – a season junior, and then this one continues to make plays, uh, Infinity, and I thought she got the biggest hoop in the game. Uh, again, when we, we kept stopping them, but we couldn't get a basket, the shot clock was running down, and she made that running kind of dipsy do uh, right-handed uh, layup to, uh, to put us up five or seven when we really needed it. And then she got her hand on a ball and tied it up, as she's done all year, uh, but I can't say, and, and the other person that, that, that isn't here that I thought really, we needed someone to set the tone for Raquel's energy, and I thought that was Emily Parker. She just played like a woman possessed. And then, uh, you know, got the big uh, Jackie Moe rebound and put back uh, to get the whole bench up and, and just got some big rebounds in traffic. And you got to remember, she had to play home in the whole, the whole second half. Uh, and uh, we lost Molly for a while. She came back and gave us good minutes. We lost Emily for a while, and she got the, the breakaway layup, which uh, the team got a kick out of. But uh, Jeremy said sometimes you need a signature win uh, in the season to maybe get you going. And to have that without Raquel in there and these freshmen grow up in a home win, which we needed, in a big game to get a home game, uh, this was huge. So I'm just very proud of these guys, and big win. Uh, yeah, some type of illness she had that, uh, and I thought she'd just get it taken care of and be out for two or three minutes. And Alicia says, "No, coach, she can't. She can't go. The illness is uh, too bad." So we knew, we kind of knew going in, which I guess was better than not knowing whether she was going to come. But that's something you don't prepare for in coaching 101 school that you're going to lose someone you know like that. But to their credit, these guys stepped up and again, as well as these, if I had to put my finger on one thing, we needed someone to give us Raquel's energy and effort and enthusiasm and toughness and I thought Emily Parker gave it to us as a senior. Just the way she ripped those rebounds and I don't know if you guys fed off it, but these guys played steady. You also need freshmen to play like juniors and, and they did that. But I thought Emily kind of was going to say, uh-uh, not today. You know, we, we're not a one-man team. We, we miss Raquel. But uh, so, I, you know, hopefully the illness is better and we'll savor this one. But Navy, and it's Navy and Bucknell we're battling. So Navy is, uh, you know, if we beat Navy, we have the tiebreaker over them. We already have the tiebreaker over Bucknell. So Navy game is the biggest game of the season. It's our pink get day. Uh, I hope people come out because it is a huge game for us for with playoff implications. Bill, you've talked about the emergence of the freshmen as being a big key here in the second half mm. of the season. Um, if you could each talk about, you know, what you felt you needed to do once your best player was on the bench in that second half. And then, um, Trisha, you actually keyed that big spurt there. It was like an 8 0 run, you had a basket and assist. And um, that guy really got you going to extend the lead. Can you just talk about, you know, what was happening there? Um, well, obviously having Raquel out, that's a huge void to fill. And so an effort to fill that void, I think everyone on the team, the freshmen, juniors, seniors, sophomores, everyone included, made their best effort to fill the void. And through that spurt, um, like Coach Gibbons said, Emily Parker really established the tone. She was able to institute energy in each and every one of us so that we could execute and make um, big plays. Mm -hmm. After leading by 10 and then, you know, they ended up taking the lead, as Coach mentioned, was there any, you know, panic or nervousness out there? Or how did you guys handle that? Um, well, I think naturally everyone was a little nervous because um, Rock is kind of like 
a rock, so to speak. Um, so I think the biggest thing was staying composed and just knowing what you had to do. Um, we all know what our tendencies are, so it's it's kind of like a group effort and everyone just staying focused and doing what they do best and um, just staying composed and under control. Katie, after losing back-to-back -back games and now getting this win, what does this do for this team? Um, it definitely gives us some momentum. Um, we've been up and down a lot all season and um, coach has been talking about like this is the last like mini season before playoffs and um, we've had like a bunch of mini seasons where we would have some where we were we would win a bunch in a row and then we lose a bunch in a row and I think now we're just gonna take this win and kind of just bring it through the rest of this mini season and hopefully throughout playoffs. How excited are you three freshmen to not just finish this season where you guys confidence is rising but to see the future of, of kind of the program and where it's going and that you guys put together a night like tonight where everyone's chipping in, everyone's scoring, and thinking about you know what could be you know, later this year with your confidence up and what could be in the, in the future. Any one of you guys can, can speak to that. Anyone talk about that? Um, well, uh, I think we definitely do have a bright future, but for now I think we're really focusing on like the next couple games and mm -hmm. um, playoffs for that, and then once the season's over we can look towards that. I think also um, just knowing that like next year we have we're losing some big key pieces, but like I think next year we're kind of have a lot of the same people. Um, so it's going to be like, it's pretty exciting, I think, to know that we're going to just keep building off of it and continue to grow next year. So I think uh, building off what Cato said, you know, the, I just this experience is invaluable for they, these guys to play in these type of games. And I, I told them, I think it was at Bucknell, when we were at Bucknell, you know, you guys have played Notre Dame at Notre Dame. You've played BC. You've played Harvard, Quinnipiac out there. You've, you've played on the road. You guys aren't freshmen anymore. You know, build on that experience. And I, I think I saw their confidence start to come. And, you know, Minnie and, and Infinity, I think, got it a little earlier than Trisha. But Trisha has it now. She's playing great in practice. And, and I agree with what Cato said. I think they're talking about right now. Uh, that's a good question, Kev, but let's talk about this. You know, we've had freshmen uh, cut down the nets and go to the Patriot League, uh, uh, go to the NCAA, so I think that's our goal. I talked about riding the ship. You know, I said, you know, we've had some rough seas, we've had some smooth sailing. I thought our three best games were at Lafayette, um, at Navy, and certainly at American were our three best games that we played. And uh, I keep talking and looking back on those, and and talking to these guys. So now we have the biggest game of the season to, to right the ship, no pun intended, with Navy coming in, in, in on, on their ship. And we've got to take it to them. And I really believe we'll be in the driver's seat or be in the captain's seat if we can beat them at home uh, to, to, to finish in the top four. But all we're thinking about now is Navy. But these guys uh, have a bright future. But I think their bright future starts Saturday.